So I was just putting the bins out and uh, found this beautiful stag beetle. I think he's a male. And he was being attacked by ants and he was all bound up in cobwebs. So he's probably flown, flown into a cobweb and then couldn't crawl away. But the ants were going to uh, the ants were going to have a go at him. And he probably would have died if I hadn't rescued him. So uh, pretty cool. Look how big he is. Next to my finger, look. Big as my finger. These are uh, staggy antler type things. Are actually mandibles. They use that, I think, to grab their mate and also to compete with other stag beetles. But he wants to get out as quickly as possible. So I'm going to go and make a quick video and then I'm going to let him go. Beautiful find though, biggest one I've seen. How big it is that? It's as easily as big as my finger. I reckon that's the biggest stag beetle I've ever seen. He wants out, so I better go and let him go. So as we're going live. Anyway, I've just been out putting the bins out and I found this on the floor wriggling around being attacked by ants. Check this out for a stag beetle. The size of that. It's pretty pretty uh well, you know, I was going to say he's pretty smart, but he knows he wants to get out of the pot. And it was also covered in cobwebs when I found it, so the ants, he had no chance against the ants. So I've carefully picked all the cobwebs off him. And then I find a nice quiet tree that's away from ants. And put him back on the tree and he can go and find his mate or something. It's a stag beetle, by the way. British stag beetle. And those long uh, antler type things. And they use it, I think, for catching a mate and also for fighting rivals. But I'm trying to hold the torch and the camera at the same time. But let's have a look at the size of this. It's ginormous. Well, it's quite big anyway, but. At least as big as big as my finger. Oh, it's going to hurt me. Let's try and get one of them out. There's my mum back now. Look, she wants to take a photo of the stag beetle. Try now. Make sure it's focused. Got it. I like its little yellow stripes. You're on Facebook Live, by the way. No. <laughs> Christy's watching. All right, Christy. I'm still here, by the way. Going home Thursday, I think. Look at that. That's been, I think, one, two, nearly about three inches long. I haven't got anything. Leave your thumb there and I'll... Oh. I'll try and get a photo. 
Oh, well, all right, all right. Don't hold it down. No, oh, that was me, was it? I thought it was something you were doing. Zoom in then. Little bit. Yeah, I think it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. That's my mum shooting it with her camera. An escape. Yep. It slides. It's all right, just do that. So we're just taking this stag beetle down the garden, going to release him at the foot of a tree. Just saved him because he was uh, bound up in cobwebs and covered in ants. So he's not very happy because we keep putting him back in the pot, but he's happier, happier than he was covered in ants. My mum thinks it's hilarious. Right, let's go save the stag beetle then. Are yeah, you old, that? The size of it. Yeah. It's about to two inches long in body and it's around the mandibles. Yeah. Oh, thinks I'm the way out that Save him before he crawls up my arm. I think thinks you're a tree. Yeah. <laughs> so we've released our stag beetle. This is now making his way up a tree. Which I think will be alright. Mum says they can fly, so uh, if he gets up and he gets bored, he can fly away, can't he? There's not so many ants on this tree either, although it is a oh, plum tree. Webby bits so. though. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure where they go in the wild, but they can live in hedgerows and forests and things. So I think it's going around the tree to get away from the light. Probably. Maybe. But anyway, let's go and have a look on this side. This is a plum tree, by the way. Too early for plums, but there are some coming on it. There he is. Absolutely beautiful. Nature's wonderful. God's mm. wonderful. Yeah, you're on video, Mum. So Pardon? you're on video, so don't I'm get sorry. don't get too emotional. <laughs> it's only a stag beetle. I know, but you don't see them very much. I've only seen two, I think, three since I've been here. Well, it seems to like it there. It's resting on the um, the branch. Good. So I think we'll leave him to it. Yeah. He's um, stayed. His antlers, or whatever you call them, and the bees, or whatever they are, mm. are red. Yeah, gorgeous, aren't they? Mm. Just He's like got two little yellow bits on his body. Look just like antlers as well. Mm. Hopefully, I'm not kneeling in fox poo. I don't like them. Um, 
been out at night in weather like this. Too many things about. Bugs, she means. Yeah. Look at that. Look at the size of that thing. Don't run very fast though, fortunately. I'll go down and have a look and see what bins are out. Oh, beautiful things, excuse me. He wants out, so I better go and let him go. Right, that's my little video. Thanks very much for watching. Where's that square gone? Oh. You're on photo. That's it. Anyway. <laughs> My mum thinks it's hilarious. Right. Hit the off button on the video. Where? <laughs> Press the red button.